Hello and welcome, this is LCS Recap and this is game number one of Europe's Week 8, Gambit Gaming vs Evil Geniuses. Following Voidal's great performance last week, he was moved up to the permanent support position for Gambit Gaming. It's going to be dangerous. Exhaust is down. Snoopy going to be going in. Voidal gets away somewhat, but the bubble lands on towards Genji, who's already used the barrier. And there is First Blood. It's Crepo that picks it up. Yellow Pew just miscalculating the damage there on the Condemn. Knocks him away, and thanks to the ebb and flow from Crepo, secures First Blood for his team. With Darian goes to farm the top lane and finds himself in a web of bad decisions. They've got that vision. Snoopy is waiting here inside of the brush, and Darian might find himself in a little bit of trouble. Where's the rappel? There it is, coming down onto the back line there. That final minion, but will he be able to get away from Frog? And he's going to use a flash on this. No tower, of course, behind him. Here comes Wicked from the side. Can they lock this one up? Let's bounce being used, and there is a second kill for Frog. Very well played by Evil Genius as Frog and Snoopy setting that one up, and Wicked just closing the kill. Something we don't see so often is an evil geniuses who want to be aggressive pre-20 minutes. However, look at this. Side as Froggen goes in, he's tanking up the turret, has to flash away. As Diamond gonna dive in on towards Snoopy at the back, but it's Genja that's taking all the damage. He will go down. Yellow Peep might be able to get a second kill for EG. He will as he takes down Darian. And that was a great gonna play. Alex Itch now out of position as well. Great shockwave, pulls Snoopy and Wicked back. Alex is going to try run away, not going to be enough. No, I don't think he can escape this one. Wicked going in there, gets the knock up onto him. This should be a simple case of just finishing off from this. Bubble comes in from Kreto, and Yellow Peak picks up another one. A vital second kill. The turret's going to fall as well. Two. But as evil geniuses get split up at Dragon, Gambit get a good start on this fight. Available here for Kreto as well. So even though he's taken damage, if they can kite, if they can stay spread out, EG can maybe make something work. Here comes Froggen. Froggen in from the they managed to catch Alex Itch there in all kinds of trouble with the bubble, but the wild growth goes down. Crepo's a dead man. He flashed earlier on, don't forget. And now Yellow Pete on the bottom side. He's already lost two teammates in this fight. The dragon looking like it should be in there for Gambit as well. Will be smited away by Diamond in the end. Wicked is still there. Alex going very low. Froggen gonna come in and assassinate him. Can they get any more from this one? Darian going super low as well. That will be a kill this time for Wicked. Here as Yellow Pete. Pete has come back into it. Genja goes down before he can stealth up there. The flash is coming out but Boyd will get slowed. He's a dead man as well. Froggen now unstoppable at 5-0-4. And as the game goes on, Evil Genius has closed their stranglehold on Gambit. We can't quite sneak in towards that one as Genja here. Is he going to get caught out? Yellow Peak coming in from the side. Tidal Wave comes across but doesn't really hit anyone. There's a Cataclysm coming down. Froggen now coming in from the side. Voidal uses Wild Growth on his own. Snoopy will fall down in this and Darian still on high HP as Froggen Rift walks over, mops up Voidal. And that will leave us right now with a two for one in favor of EG. Froggen not done just yet though as he's still chasing down towards Diamond who uh, manages to slide away from the that. Bubble! There's a great bubble. Two men picked up in that one. That's going to be two more kills here for EG. And they both go to Yellow P. And then Evil Geniuses make a formidable push on the top lane. Again, just like, I just wanted a little bit more farm guys in that top lane, but now they might lose the inning. Oh, Sorry, they're actually going for the fight here. Alex gets caught with a bubble. Tidal wave coming through. Diamond now right at the back of the team will be focused down. Yellow Pete's going crazy at the front. He gets another one. And just like that, four men down for Gambit without a single reply. 40 seconds on the clock for three members of Gambit. They're going to be able to finish this one out. Yellow Pete has had three or four team fights in a row where he has not taken a single point of damage. They've got the first Nexus turret down. They've got the next one down. This guarantees a 3-0 head-to-head record in the event of ties. Evil Geniuses will advance ahead of Gambit. So there we go then. Evil Geniuses taking down Gambit for the third time in a row here. The two big European teams from Season 2 going at it once again. I'm wondering what's going to happen to junglers like Snoopy and Meteos when the Bulwark changes come around as they build them pretty much without fail on all their champions. I'm fairly sure all the junglers in LCS currently build it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments.